Hey, this goes out to you beat makers, producers out there having some problems with your uh, VSTs or your FL Studio. It's just not working functionally and you just can't figure out why. You've looked over everything. You think you have the answer, but it's just not quite there yet. Well, this is your final answer. It's um, Windows 7 64-bit is causing the issue. Uh, but not exclusively Windows 64-bit, but bad programming on behalf of ImageLine. So the problem is, is that if you have uh, um, you know, any kind of uh, beat uh, file uh, made up, for instance, I got one here. And you know, basically I have all kinds of things going on. And basically uh, mine doesn't crash because I've solved the issue. However, uh, what actually the, the issue as to why yours is crashing is specifically due to the VSTs that you're using. Uh, it's actually specifically due to the way that your FL Studio accesses the VSTs. Uh, they use a program called FL Studio Wrapper. This FL Studio Wrapper is having um, inconsistency and can compatibility problems with uh, older VSTs specifically. And quite honestly, if you can't load older VSTs, then you know what the hell's the point of even using FL Studio because most of the best ones are the older ones. So how we're going to resolve this is by going to the settings, going over to processing tab, and actually choosing the bridged option. Now this actually might not work for you in the, in, the, um, in the current project that you have set up, right? As an example, you set your project up, you try to load um, hypersonic as an example, but you just can't freaking get it to load whatsoever. Um, how you can resolve this issue or uh, fix your currently, uh, so to speak, corrupted uh, um, project file would be by going to a new file. I like to just go down to a template, choose basic. Uh, we want to load a basic template. Um, it doesn't matter if your thing's saved or not right now or whatever you want to do with what you have there. Mine's already saved, of course. So go to a basic template, start up, uh, um, for instance, in my case, it's hypersonic. And um, we're basically going to go ahead and do some configuration here. So. Hypersonic, we loaded it up. We're gonna go down to the, uh, as you can see, hypersonic, right? Just so none of y'all are uh, missing out on what I'm saying here. This is the settings tab. You click on that, the processing tab. And see, by default, it doesn't actually have bridge set. And there's no actually no, in fact, other way to set it to bridged in order for it to load into um, a default manner. So you can't change bridged uh, if you can't open the actual wrapper. Well, you can, but uh, it's a really extremely difficult process and I'm not even gonna get into that. So the idea is open a basic application or um, a basic uh, template where you know it will open. Go down to bridged. Uh, we know that works. When it's in bridge mode, just as an example, you can clone it now and it works. But what doesn't work is you can't open um, separate channels I don't think but back to the point here uh, what we're gonna do to rectify this issue is you click on the uh, little option button here and then you're gonna go to save as preset I like to choose the place to save it so that it can be most common or it can be uh, very easily accessed uh, is down here they made a little folder for you uh, the client under user down here. And you notice there's like really nothing there when you click on it, but that's where I save my uh, templates anyhow. So um, you go to save presets. How you can find that user location over here is by going to patches um, or FL, you can go to C, C drive in my case. I don't have it in program files. I put it on C drive by itself, but yours will probably be program files, image line, FL studio 10, data, patches all right so in the patches folder there it is down there users right here you can actually see speech sound fonts etc a lot of these are right in this folder and um we're just going to go into uh hs fixed i'll save it as that i'm just going to overwrite that file because i just don't want to clutter it up too much anymore so you can save it as whatever you want in there because you you don't have anything in there or you might but just save it as something new save it click uh, yes, if you're overriding, in my case, that's the issue. And uh, there it is, HS fixed. 
Now we can actually go ahead and test that just to make sure it worked and you and it bridged it, it set the bridging mode properly by just dragging it over in there and there it is yeah it works see it just fixed. Now I go to the options here just to verify that it all went uh, went to plan. The processing tab and there it is bridged. So what's actually happening here just to give you a quick explanation is uh, in this you can see there's three hypersonic files. And I've already set these in category by name, but you can actually see that um, each one is bridged. That bridge actually runs it separately completely from the FL Studio uh, file itself, which in turn lowers this number here, which is the RAM in which FL Studio is using, uh, uh, basically over or succumbing the, the memory failure that uh, FL Studio seems to incur causing that crashing issue. Uh, if we um, add another one as an example, we'll clone this. You'll see that there's now four. So there you go. It runs it completely separate from the program instead of inside the program, raising the ultimate amount of how much uh, memory that FL Studio is using, which also increases the performance. So if you're not running it in bridge mode, then, uh, well, technically you should be. The only thing is that you shouldn't be running in bridge mode are the um, FX, like, uh, well, for instance, um, you know, like, reverb right you know you don't need to run this in bridge mode and uh, matter of fact i was actually told um by their stupid help file never to run it in bridge mode but uh i'm not even gonna mess with that so we're gonna go back to my uh file here where it wasn't working before and here we go well well i know it was working here but this is the situation because i've already fixed it in this file um, I'm going to go ahead and just drag it over, drag and drop, there we go, see that, it just fixed, it works and it, it drops into the file properly and, and works exactly as it's supposed to. I'll give you an example because I know you're thinking, I don't know if that applies to me. Well, it does because um, for instance, if you go to load uh, your VST, this is what's happening to you and I know because it uh, it happens to me. So you can load your hypersonic in a, in in different states, but oh, there you see, I got an error. Um, basically, this error specifically pertains to your problem uh, because what's actually happened is that it's it's caused uh, FL Studio to become completely corrupt. I can't save anything. It's all going to be screwed. Uh, the reason why is because this one is not bridged. And even if I were to save it as bridged, it doesn't matter because that error came up. I have to close FL Studio in order for this to properly work. So I have to reload it. And then we'll go ahead and load. Well, I'm, you saw the error I got. However, that may not be the exact error that you got. It actually manifests itself in many different ways, but here you go, FL Studio Wrapper. This is the specific program that's actually failing uh, in particular. Uh, they don't play nice, FL Studio and Free Wrapper. So here we go. There you go. That's the one you get. And this is what, the reason why this is occurring is because, by default, the wrapper does not load in bridge mode outside of FL Studio. It can't load it into the memory. It just has a whole big old ordeal problem. And uh, this is how you solve it. We know that I applied the uh, bridged mode to that uh, HS fixed. Go ahead and add it. Click on the settings there. There it is, bridged. And it works. And I can clone it. And any way you give it, Regardless, it's gonna work for you. All right, does that's that's just the plain and simple all these other guys out there They're giving you all these other, you know fixes and such This is the fix. There's nothing else that matters all of the rest of it is garbage or just a workaround This is the actual fix. All right It runs it outside of FL studio as a separate process altogether Which causes the the program to work instead of not work so that's about it, all right? So anyways, cheers, guys. Beatmakers, producers, I hope uh, you get over uh, your anger and frustration because uh, now you're going to be able to get back to your music, all right? Later.